But I'm first in line. The improv, maybe. Final run through before I go in. Thank you, thank you, yes. Uh... All right, I'm here and I read their policy and it looks like they're not gonna let me in because of that and those, even though I left my suitcase back in Riverside. I'm first in line though, if I do get in. I wanna go first, just get it over with. I'm ready, no, I've been ready. I'm ready, no, this is ready. The Improv in Ontario. Hi. Hi, how can I help you? What time do they start lining up for the open mic? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, do the people like, is there like a big line before there? Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. And, and your first name? Seth. Uh, actually, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do it under my stage name, it's Frank. And your last name? Barish, B-A-R-I-S-H. Final dress rehearsal. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, I'm just getting back into doing stand-up. I uh, retired many years ago. Uh, okay, maybe that isn't the word for it. I quit. I Sarah Palin. I bombed, is what happened. Um, how bad did you bomb? I bombed so badly that I was getting condolence letters from around the world. Places as far away as Nagasaki, Japan. Dresden, Germany. Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then hopefully you get a reaction. The timing of that was nice. And then play with the reaction of the crowd if we get one. See, the problem is, in history class when I was growing up, they never taught us that the first Americans who were ever bombed from an airplane were the black residents of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that the first Americans who ever bombed somebody from an airplane were the white residents of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that's why I'm going into comedy. Because I want to meet Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock and all the luminary black comics and I want their permission to call those assholes in the plains the N-word. Because the people on the ground aren't the N-word, no. 40 years after slavery, they had built a thriving, beautiful community. Which is why Whitey bombed them. But I don't want to call them Whitey. I want to call them the N-word. Language changes. Dumb used to mean someone who couldn't talk. Now it means someone you wish couldn't talk. So we can change the language. So I want to, I want permission to be able to call those white racist assholes in the plane. The N-word. Just them. Just them. Nobody else, just them. And my father. Oh, my father is a, and then I'm gonna just like do these crazy sound effects of not saying the N-word for my father. Um, I don't even wanna rehearse this part. I'm gonna do that in, all right, that's the opening, and then I'm going to do my dad's the N-word, and then I'm going to make fun of Jews, and then I'm going to run out of time. That's my plan. <sighs> Let's do this. So I did it. Um, I didn't record it, because club rules. Following club rules, because I want to do this. I fuck. They gave us, they took it down to three minutes instead of five. But I cut out, I mean, my, it was perfectly timed. It worked, it worked. And it was, they, everyone was referencing it all night. Because I almost said the N-word, but of course I'm not saying the N-word. I'm saying that white people who bomb black people from the air should be called the N-word. But that's, that's not explaining the joke. I had a good set. <laughs> I want to do longer sets. Longer. <laughs> now I'm out here. Hey, those things are so homeless people can't sleep here. Even if that homeless person just did a really good set. Oh, oh, it's like right into my back. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Why, why does it hurt? Because I'm stuck out here for like another six hours. Till the next bus run. Oh, I wish I could sleep. Oh, six hours at this bus stop. Did comedy, now I waited this bus stop for six hours. 
I mean, I'm probably going to go over to Denny's. I don't want to spend that kind of money. But I should, because it's getting cold out. It's like not even midnight, and it's fucking cold. And I left all my blankets in Riverside, oh yeah. So I could do comedy in Ontario. And now I'm stuck here until the sun comes up. Del Taco's lobby's closed. Doesn't open till six. Uh, how much fur to the fucking Denny's? And like a chariot turning into a pumpkin, I turn back into a homeless person. Doesn't matter how many laughs I got. Doesn't matter how good my stand-up material was. I am now stuck outside for six hours till the bus can get me back to Riverside where my blankets are. And then I'll just have to nap during the day or pull a full all-nighter or I don't know, man. It was worth it. I'm just tired. just want to lay down and go to sleep. Oh my God, my back hurts. My back hurts. But I'm a homeless guy, and there's nowhere to sleep, and it's too cold. I mean, I would just curl up in a corner, except it's so fucking cold. So off I go to find Denny's. So I tried to sleep in here, but it's so fucking cold. Oh, it's so fucking cold. And I didn't want to go spend money at Denny's, but I'm going to have to, because it's like five degrees out of here. Oh, I'm just laying here with my stick. I'm laying here with my stick. On the back. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Now. Oh, I was stressed at doing the open mic. And now. No, oh, I've been stuck outside. Sleeping bags in Riverside, but I'm in Ontario. And at least I have my. No, but it's so cold. I'm at Denny's. Let's see if I can slow roll this for five hours till the next bus. Good stuff, right? <coughs> I know, man. Like, uh, what's more? Okay, now it's all weird because I <laughs> that take. I accidentally hit the. Never mind. I did. I had to restart the camera while I was holding the smoke in, and then switch it to 4K. And then by then I was just out of breath. I had no oxygen in the brain. <laughs> Humans like oxygen so much, man. It's crazy. I know, Pelly. Anyway, we're in Texas, <laughs> right? Uh, and you're, you're hogging my camera time. Everyone wants to see me, this guy from outer space. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm glad we're here in Texas. I know, man. Me too. It's cool. Uh, so, uh, where are we living? We're, we're kind of homeless? <laughs> Again. <laughs> You crazy humans with your money and the necessity of money and all that silly bullshit. Tell me about it. Anywho, this should be fun. Let's do this. Okay, Pally. Put you back in your box? Well, my, my traveling box is for a moment, right? You'll, you'll let me out again soon, right? We'll see. <laughs> Good enough. All right, bye, Frankie. Bye, Pally boy. Adios, human. Okay, cut it. No. Come on, man, cut it. You're like in my face and shit, man. Come on. I've been in a box for like two weeks, bro. I do apologize, man. We're kind of homeless. Is that because of the money thing? <laughs> All right, back in my box. I guess it is. Okay, pal. Adios. I'm ready. No, this is ready. But I s walked through the mall and I went into a store and they didn't have the, any samples and then they didn't have the ones that I wanted. So I let her spray me with cool water. And now I smell like, 2000, like 1996.
I smell like 1995. That's what I smell like. Five, six, when did I have? I had a bottle of cool water once and I'm sorry. I don't know why. Just trying something new. And now it smells like Windex kinda? It's like a cross between uh, Windex and uh, some other cleaning fluid, I don't know. But I'm first in line. The improv, maybe.